um, I'm excited uh, and I'm glad that uh, Great Torren have given me an opportunity um, to sign for, for this club and, and, and uh, um, to look how we can uh, get you know whatever challenge that is ahead of us that we can uh, um, overcome them together. So I'm really excited. Uh, I'm really looking forward to for the, the challenge. And just tell us a bit about your football career to date and, and how you came to be here today. Yes, so um, I've literally just come up, uh, you know, in the past in the past year, um, I've not really had a club really. The, my, my last club um, was for two months where I signed for Sully Hall Moles. Yeah, and, and it, the way it came about is um, it, it started with me just staying there for keeping fit and, and while I was waiting for other um, options in, in, in the EFL division. Um, but nothing came up, so by the time I came back from Africa Cup and I had a good tournament. Um, so come back July, waiting, August, nothing concrete, you know, um, September, nothing concrete. So I thought, well, I, I can't be training just for myself. So Soliho, it was only 30 minutes from from where I was living, so I thought it's better that I just go and train in a team and stay fit until um, hopefully something comes up. Nothing came up, so I thought, you know, for the last two months, um, you know, from November to December, um, I'll just uh, sign here until January and see what happens. So, and then obviously the COVID came um, around January, so um, yeah, since I left Heath, it's been a difficult time in my career um, I've not been injured um, so but these things happen and um, you know uh, I know that it's gonna all work for my good um, and for my future and it's gonna I've learned a lot from being in that time no contract um, no club I've never experienced it in my life so um, and I've got good connection in football so um, and and um, I've managed, somebody managed to, you know, get a word and speak to, to Paul um, about me and, and, and just say, you know, it's crazy that this kid does not have a club. So, you know, if you guys can sort out something, then um, why not reach to him? And um, and it's been the same situation, especially in COVID, where, you know, nobody knows what's going on in football, especially in England. So it's, it's tough times in football and uh, you have to, to take a chance. Uh, especially, I'm in a stage where I need to be playing, so that's why I'm here. I'm here to help the club and uh, to make um, 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 you know lasting memories. And just tell us a bit about your early career as well. Started out at Coventry and then played in the Premier League for Newcastle before yeah. moving on up to Scotland. But what were those experiences like for you? Yeah, yeah. No, everything, everything was looking was looking up from uh, my young time in my young days. In uh, Coventry, come from Coventry Academy. Um, you know, great memories, and obviously played. I made my debut, seventeen years old, in the championship, um, and then after that season, Coventry got relegated, and then I was bought by Newcastle. And obviously, as you said, um, the first season for me in Newcastle really went really well. I got to play a um, lot of games in the Europa, uh, Europa League, um, and then um, yeah, uh, you know, just um, what happened did happen, and difficult to get into the team um, and then um, went back to Coventry um, had did well um, we won the cup um, in, had a good season then um, I moved to Motherwell things were going well um, and then um, you know and then um, signed two years at Motherwell and before um, end of my my second year at Motherwell um, in the last six months, and assigned to um, assign a he been in, um, which that was tough. Um, By no, it, it was just weird because I never really got an opportunity, um, and so yeah, it's uh, it's been. It seems like I've been around. I've been around in football, uh, but um, I'm in a place where right now I just wanna focus and, and, and play. I'm here. And my focus is here at Glintorin and. Uh, um, I'm looking forward to, to you know, uh, make, like as I said, um, I'm here to make good memories for, for the club, for myself and, uh, and for my family. 
And how have you found the Oval and the people around the Oval so far? You've met Paul and you've, you've met Mick as well. Yeah. How, have you, how have you found things so far? Yeah, no, generally uh, really good people, uh, nice people. Um, you know, um, really, just really down to earth, really caring. Uh, you, you, you can get the vibe from them um, when you speak to them. Just They've been in football, um, you know, and, and, and they're... And the, the, you know, they've got big plans for, for Glen Torin, for this club and for this community. So, um, and um, yeah, I've been to Ireland before see, uh, to visit a friend, uh, but um, but now I've been here, look, have they looked around and uh, um, I'm, I'm excited, I'm excited. And over the course of the season, we've got Europa League coming up soon and then potentially the league starting in October. Are you setting yourself any particular expectations or, or any challenges for yourself? Yeah, I mean, uh, there's so much uh, uh, you know to look to look forward so much ahead of us. Um, but uh, for me, is from what I've learned in the time that I've been out of the game, um, just looking myself and make sure that I do the right thing. Um, that um, you know that I make sure that I, I'm I, I put myself in the best place that I can be. Um, you know, attitude wise and. and Walk for the team and, and and just enjoy my game. You know, I I I played football as a kid because I loved it. Uh, Sometimes when you move when you move up the levels, football can become a chore. So uh, I wanna I'm, I'm here to play with a smile uh, and then at the same time to you know as I said um, to to really have a big an impact in a team and 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 this season.